Today I want to show you how I create mockups to present my designs or paintings using Stable Diffusion and Photoshop. For the first example, I'll start by creating a new square document in Photoshop. Then I'll use a soft brush to paint some colors aiming to create a satin texture. It still needs to have contrast, so when you squint your eyes you should see contours. I'll add lights and shadows quickly. Next I'll place a white rectangle to represent a blank piece of paper. I'll rotate it to avoid making everything too symmetrical. I'll add a pink rose on top of the paper by painting the basic forms of a rose. It doesn't have to be detailed, just capturing the overall shape will do. If painting proves challenging, I can also add a photo of a rose from Google or generate one using AI. I'm using the Stable Diffusion Forge UI, but it also works with Automatic 11, 11. Then for the model, I'm using Juggernaut XL version 10. I'll switch to the Image to Image tab and upload the sketch. For the prompt, I'd describe what I want to see. In this case, I want a white blank paper placed on a pink satin texture background. Additionally, I want a pink rose positioned on top of the paper. For the styles, I'll choose Mockup, which you can find in my other video featuring art styles. For the sampling method, what works best with my model is DPM++2 M Keras, adjusting the width and height to fit the ratio of your uploaded image. As for denoising, I'll set it to 0.6 and then I'll hit Generate. I'll hit Generate a few times until I find something I like. Once I've found one, I'll drag it over again to the Image to Image section. Then, I'll reduce the denoise strength to 0.35 and increase the width and height to get more details. I'll start with 1200 or 1600 pixels depending on the video card, but my card can handle all the way up to the maximum of 2048 pixels. This way I can have a big image with nice quality. I'll show you how I create a smart object PSD mockup so you can reuse it and easily change the design. I'll correct any imperfections to make the image look nice. First, I'll draw a rectangle with the same ratio as the blank page, in my case is a square. I'll use red to make it easier to see. I'll rename it to design. Then I'll right click and convert it to a smart object. I'll set it to multiply mode. Now I'll rotate it and use the distort tool to make it fit the corners of the page. If the page edge isn't perfectly straight, I can use warp to adjust it. Additionally, I can add a mask and paint the edges if needed. Next, I'll need to mask out the rows. To do this, I'll first make a selection of the rows, then I'll use that selection to create a mask for the rows. I can use the shortcut Control plus I to invert the mask if needed. If you double-click the Smart Object thumbnail, you'll enter that Smart Object. You'll see a new PSB document opened on top. Now, if you change something in this document, like the color, and then close and save it, the changes will be automatically updated in the main PSD file. You can still fix any edges that aren't aligned at any time. Additionally, you can place any design there, such as a PNG with text as a placeholder. Alternatively, you can place an illustration or a watercolor painting. You can create mock-ups that fit the mood you want to convey with your work. Let's move on to the next project um, for this one. I wanted to sketch a frame on a white wall with a wooden sideboard and a vase on it containing some dry flowers. I added some gray to the wall, so it's not a perfect white color. And I also simulated some top left light. Uh, back to Stable Diffusion on Image to Image with a prompt that describes the scene and a mock-up art style selected. I'll use 0.6 for the denoise strength and hit Generate. I'll generate a few times to see what I can get. It didn't capture the handles on the sideboard. I'll reduce the denoise strength. Of course, I could use Control Net for that, but I just want to do it quickly. Once I get one that can work, I drag the result back to image to image and increase the denoise again to get more variety. Then when I'm decided on the final image, I drag it again. This time with a smaller denoise, I'll put the maximum width and height. The sideboard could be better, but it's okay for this video and what I wanted to show you. In Photoshop, you can do it like I showed in the first example, by dragging a rectangle, making it a smart object, and so on. Alternatively, if it's a one-time use of the mock-up, you can just drag and place the design directly. For the last example, I wanted to create something in landscape ratio. So I made a document with that ratio and started sketching. I aimed for a dark, 
presentation for Halloween with a blank frame on a dark wall. Below it, I included a skull and a candle with some chains in the corner. Of course, you can do anything you want. I just sketched the first things that came to my mind. For better mock-ups, you can do some research, like on Pinterest, to see how people use light in Halloween scenes, what mood they create, what objects they use, and so on. But sometimes I just relax by drawing, starting from a blank page and going with the flow. Back to stable diffusion with image to image, I'll upload the sketch, provide a prompt to describe the image, and select a mock-up art style for the width and height. I'll use the same ratio, and for Denoy's strength, I'll set it to 0.6. After generating a few versions, I saw that the chain sketch is poor and AI saw other things in there, so I'll increase the weight of the chain in the prompt by using control and the up arrow a few times. I got a version that could work, so... I drag the result back to image to image um, and hit generate again. As you can see, I got even more details there. I drag it again and hit generate to get another version. Once I like the result, I'll get a bigger version of it using a full HD size and I'll lower the denoise to keep the image similar but bigger in size. And these are the results, which look pretty cool considering the sketch I used. In Photoshop, you can create it as a smart object mockup, or you can just drag your design there on top and adjust it to fit. That's all for today. If you found something useful, don't forget to leave a like. Thanks for watching and have a great day.